Hello all you wonderful people, my name is Buddy Infos and this is GTA 4. I haven't done a GTA 4 challenge and this one is actually special, it's a winter mode challenge. It is by Nicola Pech or Nicola Pe. I don't know how to pronounce your name but you're Nicola and you submitted the challenge. This challenge is gonna be awesome so let's go in 3, 2, 1, go! So guys it is currently December, in December I decided to do only mayhem challenges. I did one for GTA 3, for Vice City and for San Andreas and it's time for GTA 4. I said I was not gonna do one but... but... I decided to give it a try, I found a great mod which adds so much lighting, just so 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 much lighting and also I give Mr. Nico a little hat. Look at his little hat. Yeah look at it, it's so small. Also don't worry guys, the fog is only at the beginning. I made sure to start with fog on because it looks more Christmassy, more uh, wintry with the fog. Right, so we have to drive to the beach, half beach house with this vehicle. We cannot change it. That's the whole step of this. That's the whole step. We cannot change it, and we have to go to half beach. So what is a mayhem challenge? Basically, you people suggest stuff, and I do it, of course, I have lots of challenges, I think 600, 700, I don't know, many of these I have, and you guys just submitted all of these, and I picked the best one and do it. However, in December I decided to do something different, I decided to do only winter mod challenges. And this one is no exception, this uh, snow mod I think it's code. GTA 4 snow mode, I added some sliding of course, I'm pretty sure I did it uh, separately or it was in the mod, I don't know. I put this mod pack I guess together a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah look at the sliding, it's so slow. So I have to make sure to keep the police after me. Yeah, just, they just have to be super close to me because the bubble around me, the circle, is gonna disappear. If I get out of it, they could disappear and I would not have a wanted level and I have to have a 2 star wanted level right here. So I made sure to, to drive a little bit slower in some places. The best thing about this mod is that the, tri the tire traction and also the tire tracks on the ground. You can see where other cars have driven. And you can see yourself where you drive. As you can see, you leave tracks on the floor. The ground. So I think this is a great mod and it's so difficult to drive, guys. You know my stance on the GTA 4 driving. I hate it. I hate the driving. And this makes it even harder. However, in if it has a shell of winter, you know, if it has snow and such, it is actually pretty entertaining, it's pretty interesting. But the base game is kind of weird, why does it slide so much? Oh, of course I know, because it simulates real life, because in real life of course it slides that much, but still... This is not real life, guys. But whatever, this mod adds this and it's so cool, it's so fun to drive with this mod. And also I decided to just crash into him because that's the fastest way of stopping. <laughs> okay, so I have to increase my stars to 3 with a shotgun. I made sure to shoot the police officer. I also have to shoot this guy because he's approaching. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not gonna mark this. This is the... I'm not gonna shoot him. Okay, good. Yeah. The hardest part of this challenge was this step. Driving the bike, guys, driving a bike in this mod is ludicrous. It's so difficult and if a cop is right after you, oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna fall. Not always, of course. Guys, the, the fails I have for this challenge are super funny. I was, what happened was I fell with the bike on a bridge. From the center of the bridge till the end of the bridge, it was one of the biggest bridges, actually, I think the biggest bridge, I slipped without a bike, you know? I fell off the bike, 
and I slid for I think 30 seconds I couldn't get up and then I died. That happened two times. So I think I won't do a failed attempts video, I'll just do a GTA 6 video. You know, my my series on games that suck. Basically it's a parody of games I like, which I say suck in the video, and show some some weird thing about the game, you know, a glitch, a bug, uh, something interesting. And this was super interesting, so I think I'll do one of these videos, or I could of course do a fails video, but you are gonna see that. I'm gonna definitely show you the the two fails I had. I think I had four fails, but the other four were just... Ah, four, what am I talking No, I had like 10 fails, at least 10 fails, but all these 10 fails are kind of... Kind of bad, you know, they're not entertaining to watch. This here is also very difficult, sometimes they pop my tire, and with the pop tire and with the winter mod, this is impossible, it's impossible to jump. And also sometimes you crash into them, they kill you because you're stupid, because the game's stupid now, because you're stupid now, you're not stupid. No. Yeah, this is the bridge I was talking about, from here till the end I was sliding on my boot. Or Nico's butt. So yeah, this mod is kinda hardcore. <laughs> kinda awesome, I gotta say. From all the Mayhem Winter challenges, I think this is the... I think this is the best one, honestly. Not the hardest, the hardest was in GTA 3. Is this the best one? I don't know. I was not even gonna do this charge, I was gonna do only GTA 3 San Andreas in uh, Vice City. But you guys said, we want more challenges, please. Shoot the butt for good luck, good. You guys said, you know, we want a GTA 4 challenge too, with the winter mod. So, I'm here to provide it. So I have to increase my stars by 2-4. Only with an SMG, not with anything else. So I'm doing just that. I killed so many people, guys, and it's not okay. The the biggest problem with this game and challenges is that increasing the stars, the wanted level, is very difficult. Super difficult. You're gonna see that later, more in depth. I'll talk about it a little bit later. As you can see, I killed so many people, guys, and I still have 3 stars. Just so many people. I shot a lot. Yep. And there we go, 4 stars, okay. So I have to get with this car to the police station in East Holland and steal a police cruiser. I can't use, I can use any car to get there. And I chose this because this handles pretty well and of course, as you can see, the other cars are also affected. If they were not, I would not play this mod, I guess. It would be like 10 times harder for me and easier for them. And currently it's I think 3 times easier, uh, 3 times harder for me, but also for them. Which equals it out. Because it's hard for me and it's hard for them. What you doing, Taxi? Look at him. This simulates winter so 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 well, guys. If you drive quick in winter, you're gonna slide a lot. I also thought about getting the armor from here, but said, uh, I don't wanna risk it, because the armor was right down there. I could climb some stairs downwards and then upwards. However, by the time I get back to the car, more police officers could have spawned. And that's a problem, I think. Because they'll start shooting me, of course. So for the majority of this challenge, she would have 4 stars. Which is fine, but... Later on we have to have 6 stars. I'm more about that later, I'm gonna talk about that in depth. Because half, half this challenge is a step, is one single step. Yeah, half the challenge is step number 8. Yeah, because as you can see it's been 10 minutes. And I have done six. Right? 
Now, six so far. I have done. The video is 20 minutes long. And we have 10 steps. So, yeah. We're currently at uh, number seven. So, I decided to do something cool, interesting here. Instead of going to the prison, this is the prison, guys. The Alderney City Correctional Facility. Yes, this is the prison. So instead of going with a car here and staying on the ground and getting six stars, I decided to do something different. I'll take the helicopter, land on the roof, and then get six stars. Because I tried beforehand, I tried getting six stars with a rifle. We have to use a rifle for land step and get six stars. Even without the rifle, it is extremely difficult to stay alive more than a minute. And you know, getting police stars in this game is ludicrously difficult. So that's not a good combination. If you don't get a helicopter and don't land on the roof, you're pretty much not gonna do it. You're pretty much not gonna get 6 stars. Let alone 5 stars. Even 5 stars was super difficult. So yeah. I decided to get a helicopter and fly to the prison, stay on the roof and then get 6 stars. However, even with that I had issues. You'll see that later. I have like 8 minutes to talk about that. Because I think that step is like 7 or 8 minutes. Okay. I shoot the window because for some stupid reason Nico Balek decides to break the window and then get in the helicopter, even though there's a perfectly opened door right there. But for some reason he just breaks the window and then gets in. Which takes a while because the animation has to play and he, yeah, he takes a while so it's faster to just shoot it. Okay, so the prison is right over here, I have to land on the roof. Of course, previously in one of my previous attempts, and before that even I tried to do this, step with the car. We take a, and that, I think it's impossible, you can prove me wrong of course, you can make a video if you want to, and show me how you do this step. But not only this step, I want you to do the whole challenge, not only this, no no no. Because that's cheating. Because I could spend like 10 tries. Oh, 10 tries. Eh, let's say 20 tries on this step, and I would do it without the other steps. Because it's going to be a lot easier. So, what was that? I was wondering what that was. <laughs> right, so this is the step. This is the longest step. I have to stay here for quite a while, and I even sped up some things. Because nothing happens for the majority of this step. So, as I say, oh, let's shoot this guy. Okay, so the way uh, helicopters work in this game is if you shoot the two people on this side, the helicopter disappears. However, if you have good cover and you shoot the tail with a sniper many times, the helicopter uh, just explodes. But I'm trying to stay alive, I'm trying to keep decent health. And the best way to do that is to shoot the two guys as quick as possible. Also, I have to use only rifles, nothing else. Which means that I can use a sniper rifle and any other rifle. This, at least this, that's, that's how I get it. So the rifle... The, rif the two rifles are the AK-47 and the M4, I think. Yeah, M4. Mr. M4. And I use the sniper rifle too. So I can use only these two. Technically 3, but I cannot have an AK-47 and an M4 at the same time. So I have to only use these two. Okay, 4 stars. I have uh, 5 stars, I mean. 5 stars. So I have to increase it to 6 stars. Which I did not actually do. Guys, I have to use only rifles and I have limited capacity in my ammo. By the time I finish this tip, I had 0 ammo for these two. That's the biggest problem with this step. Because we have only limited ammo and I had max, okay? I had maximum 4 M4. 
So that's proof that you cannot do this step. Of course you can get lucky and kill enough people if you're a good shot. This you can see I'm not a very good shot. Yeah. But I'm trying to kill them as fast as possible as you can see. So they don't shoot at me. And let's start the ultra speed. Since this step is super long, I decided to speed it up a little bit. Also something hard for this <laughs> step. Uh, this step is super hard, if you haven't noticed. Lots of difficult stuff about it. The next hard step is that if you destroy a helicopter, <laughs> it could fall on your helicopter and afterwards there's no way down. The other thing is that helicopters like spawning in groups of two. So there's a, a helicopter in front of you and a helicopter behind you shooting at you at the same time. So I made sure to have cover behind me at all times, shoot one of the helicopters down and then the other helicopter. As you can see I had a, a cover right behind me and the helicopter was also behind me. That was a great thing. And also as you can see, I killed so many people, like maybe 10 people have killed so far. I think it's more than 10, I don't know. Actually of course it's more than 10, I killed some people on the floor too. Yeah, so I killed more than maybe 20 people and I still have not increased my stars. And I'm running out of bullets. I have barely any bullets, I have like 150 I think? Had <laughs> two sniper shots, <laughs> which does not help anybody. Oh, there we go, <laughs> the snipers. Snipers gone, so I have no sniper support anymore. That's unfortunate, I think another helicopter spawned. Yep, two helicopters. Oh, I can't see the map very well. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. This is the second helicopter. Yep, two helicopters spawned. Which, of course, again is a problem. I'm trying to have cover at all times. Also, these helicopters not only shoot from the people, not only the people shoot, but also the helicopter itself shoots. Yeah, at the front, you're gonna see that right now. Yeah, see, it shoots from the front, it also shoots at me, which is so unfortunate. And there we go, one more helicopter, and this one actually fell down. <laughs> I got super scared and tried to run away. <laughs> Guys, I was so scared here. <laughs> this scared about Jesus out of me, and... That was fine. Two. That's down, let's shoot you in the butt, for good luck, of course. With this weapon, of course, because I don't want to waste my bullets, my actual... Rifle bullets. And here we go, this is uh, boring. It's getting boring because I spent so much time here. So I shot this guy. And here we go, more people come. And I have 30 bullets exactly. So, no matter what you say, I count this step as completed. Because I don't think that it can be completed. Okay. Let's get this. I mean, it can be completed the normal way. I don't think at least. No matter how much you shoot, you not get 6 stars. That's a big problem with this game. Especially for winter mods. Uh, for just mayhem challenges in general. It's hard to get stars. I actually tried 3 challenges. And all the problems with all the challenges were the getting of stars. The slowness of getting stars. I spent so much time in the airport in a different challenge, just shooting, 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 I almost ran out of bullets. I could use rocket launchers, I could use pistols, I could use rifles, I could use everything in that step. I spent maybe 10 minutes trying to get 6 stars. It was impossible. Yeah, so for Mayhem Challenges this is annoying, but for normal gameplay I don't think it's annoying. So here I made sure to have no cars, no cup cars around the safe house. Land exactly on the floor, not slit around, because Nico likes to take a nap. If I land not correctly. And this is it guys, the challenge is actually completed. 
I just have to save and there we go. So again, Nicola Pech or Pe, Nicola Pe, thank you so much for being so active on my channel. And also thank you so much for this amazing challenge, I had so much fun with it. It took me I think 10 tries and you guys can expect another Mayhem Challenge video with the fails. You should also try this mod for yourselves because it was super fun. This has been the last video in 2017 and I hope I'll have many other challenges for 2018. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.